喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵喵。Hello, everyone. Welcome to Story Time with Stumpy Cat. Say hello, Stumpy Cat. What are you reading today? A book about your adventure. A paw full of string. That sounds really exciting. Shall we read it together? Stumpy Cat travelled for many, many miles, from farmland to city. He arrived with a smile. A home in a house in a street. It's all new. New smells, new toys, and new things to do. With his gingery coat and little pink nose, his tigery stripes from head down to toes. He's stumpy by name, but not stumpy by height. He's stumpy of tail, which he wags with delight. Stumpy Cat has found a tree stump of his own. High upon this place, he sees all that he knows. Stumpy on the stump thinks of places quite far. Of oceans and deserts, and the wonders they are. His cat face it will smile, his stumpy tail it will wag. Another dream may come true, an adventure to be had. And arching his back, as only cats do, he closes his eyes and he's off some place new. What's all this? A cat on a horse? A cat in a hat on four legs? Why, of course. Stumpy the cowboy rides into town, a spectacular sight, and word soon gets around. The people all meet this fine cat on the horse. Stumpy cat smiles and shakes hands with his paws. Good day to you, sheriff. My name is Stumpy Cat. I'm helpful and playful, and that's just a fact. Howdy to you, and how do you do? I'm the sheriff of town, and I'm pleased to meet you. But you come at a time when the town wears a frown. The trouble we have is getting us down. You see, string as a thing is a wonderful thing, and string in a ball amuses us all. But the string we have here is something quite queer, and try as we might, it brings us no cheer. So where do I start with explaining this thing? Our town is quite clogged with the dreaded tumble string. It clogs up the drains and sticks in the pipes. It ties up our dreams when sleeping at night. Nobody quite knows how tumble string grows, but grow it must grow, and it grows and it grows. It ties us in knots, it trips up our nags. The terrible stuff is becoming a drag. We've chopped it, we've burnt it, we've tried one and all to rid the whole town of the stringiest of balls. But tumble and trouble is all we have left. Dear Stumpy, dear fellow, can you help with this mess? Oh, sheriff, what trouble you have in this town! Said Stumpy Cat with a big smile, not a frown. Now cats love their string, and this cat loves it too. Where others have failed, maybe I can help you. Your string is a worry for good folk just like you, but for this Stumpy Cat, it's a dream that's come true. I'll roll it, I'll pour it, I'll jump up with glee. I'll make the biggest string ball you ever did see. So Stumpy Cat rolled with the string all night long. He tumbled and jumbled as if they were one. The sun came up, and the town was all clean. That dreaded tumble string was nowhere to be seen. The folk they all cheered when they saw what they got. The world's biggest string ball, and Stumpy Cat sat on top. The sheriff and Stumpy, with an idea in their eyes, rolled that big ball to where the birds fill the skies. And hundreds of birds they pecked that string ball. Because tumble string makes the best beds of them all. Stumpy awoke from his wondrous dream. Night time had fallen where daytime had been. He yawned a cat yawn, and scratched his cat head, and dreamed of cat dreams in a tumble string bed. Wow, Stumpy Cat! What an amazing adventure! Did you know that your imagination can take you anywhere you want to go? 
I can't wait to hear about your next adventure. Bye for now, Stumpy Cat. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs>